Hello everyone and welcome back to another review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Convoy L21B. This is with the CSL PM1.F1 emitter. It's uh, the green emitter and I got this one for the increased throw. So I've actually put it all back into the box. I've decided to do these videos all at once. I used to record them half and half and I sort of open the box and then at the end, but I thought I'd do them all at the same time. So it's back in the box just to show you what you actually get. So let's open it up. And uh, as you can see, the convoy packaging is pretty basic. I mean, you don't get any fancy logos or any of that sort of shiny cardboard. It's just usual packaging. And I actually like that because at the end of the day, it's what's inside that counts and uh, you know, get a bit of bubble wrap as well. I actually got my version with an included battery. Okay, so I'll open it up and just show you what's uh, what it is. So you basically get one of these if you opt for it. I think it's another couple of dollars, two, three dollars. And if you don't have a 21700 cell or you know, you're running a bit short, I think these are pretty good value you know, considering that they're just a few dollars. Other than that, you get a little lanyard here. Mine actually already came attached to the light, but that is basically it. Pretty Spartan, um, but that is how it is with Convoy. You don't even get an instruction manual. So this is the light itself, and I have used it now for about a week, probably over a week, as I think about it, and I am super impressed at how this thing has performed so it's a monster thrower and especially if you can handle that green colored led it definitely has the longest range of all the l21b configurations there's a, another configuration with the sft40 there's also the white version of this emitter as well but uh, this particular one here with the csl pm1.f1 emitter is actually the best value one at 30 us dollars okay and it throws the furthest out of all the other configurations Pretty incredible. It also keeps up with two of my LEP flashlights. I'll include some beam shots at the end to show you what I mean. And amazingly, it also outthrows the Convoy L8, but not by much. Aesthetically, beautiful looking light, as you can tell. It's got a kind of elegant look and feel. And I think the reason why is because there's not really sort of sharp edges or cutouts. And especially on the head there, it's like pretty smooth sort of especially when you when you head um, stand on the head and what have you i thought it would be a lot larger than um what it came in the mail because i was looking at my convoy l8 and thinking it would be roughly that size but it is significantly smaller than that it's um it's got quite a minimalistic design even the knurling here on the side there it keeps the light looking very low key and another thing i was really surprised at when i first got it was just how light it was, so 212 grams without a battery, 285 grams with the battery. I've also got the Convoy M21F, and that weighs just a little bit less than the L21B with a cell. So considering it's a, you know, it's significantly smaller, I think Convoy have done a good job in reducing the weight of this light. And I think the reason why is that this light initially was used or marketed as a sort of hunting light to be mounted on rifles. So so obviously you don't want something too heavy weighing it down, especially a light of this size. The head is slightly heavier than the actual tube of the flashlight. The balancing point is just above this sort of convoy logo. So roughly about, uh, roughly about there, I'd say. So it is a little bit head heavy, but that's you know always the case when you're getting these larger throwers. You really can't help but have uh, extra weight there. You know, making sure that the LED is got enough heat sinking, and uh, we've got a large reflector in there as well. So also another thing I noticed was that it has great temperature regulation, gets warm, but doesn't overheat like a few of my other convoy lights. The M21B holds the lumens for a long time, but it does get a little bit too hot on the 100% mode. So with the overall construction, you know, I talked a little bit about that before. You can bring it a little bit closer so you can just uh, have a quick look at it. But a smooth matte black finish. It's a type 3 anodizing, simple knurling, as you can see. The bezel is 62 millimeters and um, it has a smooth reflector. As you can see there, got to be a little bit of uh, fingerprints and stuff on the top. But when I got the flashlight, there was not a speck of dust inside it. So just a little bit more of a closer up here. 
you can see that the LED is seated inside this black rubber uh, gasket and it centers it pretty much perfectly. And the head I found was a little loose when I when I got mine and you know when I turned on the flashlight it just wasn't focused 100%. So um, all I did was just screw the bezel in a little bit more and focused it perfectly. So just this this bezel here you can sort of unscrew unscrew and screw it uh, back in to kind of focus that LED and also get into the electronics and uh, the LED too. I find this reflector is perfect for the PM1. Really allows you to get the maximum range with a lot of usable spill. The bezel design is pretty basic as well. There's a few little rings here just on the top of the flashlight. Some uh, little cutouts here just under uh, on top of the convoy logo okay so the led will probably sit on a pill just on the uh on the inside here so that's probably important for some heat sinking abilities but it is unusual considering that a lot of these larger lights have quite aggressive cutouts on the head and the body but convoy have managed to get a very high performing light holding its lumens and you know not having that sort of aggressive design um, you're not going to have that anti-roll feature okay so this thing just obviously it's going to roll a fair bit and uh, there's nothing stopping it no sort of fancy cutouts on the top uh, it runs off a 21700 cell which i showed you a little bit earlier as well and like convoy with all convoy flashlights you can disassemble the light very easily without any special tools there's no glue no thread lock none of that stuff so it's good for repairs enthusiasts like you guys who maybe like to modify your lights and get inside, check out the components as well. The tail switch is recessed, as you can see. So, you know, less chance of you activating that flashlight accidentally. And it also does tail stand, which is good, a good little bonus if you need it to sort of point up at the ceiling or in a tent or something like that. I've got the 12 mode model so uh, basically there's 12 different modes that you can select from and uh, in order to select the modes you basically turn on the flashlight and then you tap the end button 20 times and you get into the mode selection menu it will sort of blink um, once for a particular set of modes so low medium high bike mode strobe mode okay what i've done is that i've set mine to the mode where it's got five different uh, levels so you've got pretty much the lowest i think that's 0.1 one percent ten percent uh thirty percent and a hundred percent then it cycles back again i find that for me that's you know just the best option i can have the full range of light and uh, lumen output that i need and it doesn't take too long to cycle through the different modes as well so a lot of convoy lights have this same ui and i quite like it as well it does have memory mode and you can deactivate that if you want so you know before i had it on you know, the lowest mode. And what I find the memory mode is very good as well because you don't have to, I mean, look at that. I've just turned it on and off pretty quickly, okay? You know, if you turn it on too quickly, it's going to cycle through to the next mode, okay? But um, for pretty much if you leave it off for about, you know, half a second to a second, the light remembers the last mode, which is good because it's not a tactical switch. I wish that it had like some kind of momentary tactical switch with, you know, I've said this before, but um, having that quick activation in memory of that last mode, you know, pretty much makes it exactly the same. I don't, I don't really uh, notice the difference. So let's talk a bit about performance and we'll go through this quick ceiling bounce test that I ran at home. And you can see here, you know, with the graph, it sustains the 100% mode up until the two minute mark. I mean, that is really amazing. It actually goes beyond that two minute mark, okay, on 100%. So I don't know of any other sort of flashlight that really sustains that, uh, you know, the top lumen mode for that long. Usually they ramp down quite quickly. Convoy tends to push that limit right to the end until the point where you, you, you start to feel a little bit uncomfortable holding it. But what I found with the L, 21 b that even as I ran it through all the way to that two and a half something minute mode, the flashlight was only just warm to hold, wasn't uncomfortable at all. And I've also reactivated that turbo mode just after the six minute mark, as you can see in the graph, and it's picked up 
that the light is uh, hot. I'm not quite sure if there's a temperature, uh, you know, control module inside with the electronics or whether there's a timer or whether there's some sort of rule that's set that if, you know, you know, the, the turbo, if it's, uh, or whether there's some sort of rule set if the, you know, the, the light is activated 100% again within a certain time frame, just ramp it down. But I think that works pretty well to make sure that light, you know, is sustainable and doesn't get too hot, especially because this light is really meant to be used for long periods of time. So running through some of the candela and throw tests, I got out my Opel Lightmaster Pro and actually measured 694,575 candela at 5 meters. So that equals to 1,666 meters of throw on the 100% mode. I mean, that is incredible for a $30 light that you can get from AliExpress. I mean... This thing pretty much beats anything out there, dollar for dollar, even more expensive lights out there. I can't find anything of this size and this price that can even compete or come remotely close to what we have here with the L21B. I even compared it to a couple of LEP flashlights that I have, and it actually throws further. So quite amazing. In the beam shots later, you see that it has an intense hotspot with circular spill. You can use this as a walking light on the lower modes. A lot of people don't like flashlights that have a really strong hotspot for that reason, but uh, I find it's pretty good if you just lower it down and um, it's fine for me anyway. I mean, the beam's not going to be as nice as an orange peel reflector. It's not going to be as wide and dispersed, but you can definitely sort of use it. I, I like having the higher candela on the light so that I can see further into the distance. Also is a good self-defense measure as well if you need to, to use it. But this is not a light that you can carry in your pocket. I mean, if you really, I mean, if you had a, a large hoodie or something like that, you can chuck it in the hoodie or I don't know, maybe you could put it with the tail facing up, but not really. You're gonna need to have some kind of holster or backpack along with you. And Convoy actually sell holsters for this light. I think only for a few dollars so you can, chuck one in to uh, your cart if you end up purchasing one of them. Considerations, like I said, the green LED is not for everyone, but you do get the maximum range and visibility. Initially, I was put off a lot of these green LEDs because it's just, obviously, it's like it's not a very nice color to be using for basic stuff. You know, it's, it's not as versatile as a white LED that you can use around the house for so many different purposes. But, you know, this has a specific purpose, basically throw visibility green is a lot more visible to the eye as well so i think that's definitely an advantage there's also no onboard charging so you know you're gonna have to buy a separate charger and they're not going to cost you much think about ten dollars if you get a decent one online uh, but that's something to keep in mind as well so that if you are traveling with this light you're gonna have to bring the charger along uh, take out the battery that sort of thing which is pretty standard for for, for most convoy lights so all in all, the L21B with this CSL PM1 F1 emitter is a fantastic long range flashlight with impressive performance. When I actually got this light in the mail, I was quite surprised that it was smaller than I was expecting. I thought it'd be the same size as my, my L8, but I'd still class this as a larger thrower, still just due to the actual head size. I think it's extremely good value, whether you're using it as a long distance flashlight if you're out on the farm or or maybe you just want a light that you can use long distance. Maybe you do a lot of walks at night in uh, larger areas, larger parks and things like that. I mean, this thing is very, very versatile. So if you're looking for the best value in a large long range light, this is definitely the one to get. I'll leave the link over in the description. You can check it out to non-affiliate link it's just a, the, the link to the uh, aliexpress convoy store that's the place where you can get this at the best price the cheapest price out there and if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful make sure you like the video that helps me get my content out to more people and if you want to see me keep making more flashlight reviews then make sure you subscribe thanks for watching convoy l21b on turbo Incredible throw.
It's all the way to the back of the tree line. L21B on turbo. Wow. It's actually hitting that building right at the back in the distance. I have to figure out what that is, what, what building that is, but it is. Yeah, it is illuminating the side of it slightly. And all the trees on the other side as well. Here's one a bit closer there. That one there. And uh, don't really see it starting to ramp down. L21B, just gonna go for a little stroll. PM1 green emitter, I'm going to compare that with my L10 Max LEP and look at that, it actually throws about the same distance or even potentially further than the LEP let me just see how it goes on that building yep, it's tinting that building to the left side of it The LEP, really just keeping up with it. Impressive. I mean, for a $30 light, you can't get better than that. And uh, you also get a lot of the spill, of course, with much larger bezel, but still very impressive. L21B, 